Welcome to the inaugural episode of Chinwagon Jam, a show within a show, but still a damn good show in its own right. Each month, we'll interview a musician about life, about their music, and then we'll have a jam with them. Today, we've got Ruby Frost. Let's get into it. Welcome to Chinwagon Jam. This is the inaugural episode of a show within a show, uh, but a damn good show in its own right, obviously, about music and stuff like that. Today we've got Ruby Frost with us. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty That's good. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you enjoying your tea? I'm, I'm just waiting for it to cool down a little bit it because I had really a hot. really bad episode with burning my mouth a couple yeah. of weeks ago and I'm quite scared now. Yeah. But um, thank you for bringing this. That's to all me. right. That actually came out of my own pocket. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we I don't have, have a huge budget here. Early. Oh, I feel so bad. Um, you should. Yeah, I do. Uh, basically, <laughs> we're gonna start off with a few questions. <laughs> yeah. And then um, after the questions, I'm gonna attempt to play a song from your album. Amazing. That I bought today as well, out of my own pocket. <gasps> wow, um, you're amazing. Yeah, they don't pay us enough. <laughs> obviously. So we'll get into that um, after all the questions, and um, I'll make a fool of myself. Can't wait to hear this. Yeah. Are you gonna sing as well? No, no, no. You could, you could. No, 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 we won't do that. Okay. Because I didn't practice. All right. right, first question. Uh, Ruby Frost, the name, it's obviously not your real name. No. So is it just is it just the stage name or is it like a persona thing you've created? Yeah, it's not a persona and it's getting quite awkward because I think everyone thinks that it is. Oh, okay. Um, but no, it's just a name that I actually have been using since high school. It's like my pen name or my pseudonym. So I used it for lots of like um, short stories that I used to write. Yep. It would just always be under Ruby Frost. It came about because you had to have a pen name for this Catherine Mansfield short story writing competition. Oh. So I just came up with it at school for that. Oh. And then I just... I I don't know, yeah. I've just kept using it because my last name's a real dog to say as well. So. What is it? I just, well, it's Dutch. I was going to it's attempt, got a silent J. Uh, okay. So everyone says D Jong, but it's D Yong. Oh, okay. It's not, okay, it's not that bad. But yeah. everyone always says it wrong and it's just. Oh, awkward. well, <laughs> so, you're Ruby Frost now. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's on the easier. album and everything. Yep, it is. Okay, um, so your background, I mean, your family. So your dad is involved with parachute. Yeah, he started so, it. So, yeah. Year, like, I think it was 22 years ago. Yeah, Shit. so it's been a long and time. And that's a huge festival. Yeah, it's, it's grown a lot. It's massive. It used to be pretty, like, tiny back in the day, and it was a real struggle when they started it. And yeah. yeah, it's just mental how much it's grown. And is, is your dad a musician? Yes, he's okay. a bass player, and my mum plays keys and wow. um, sings. And uh, Yeah, my like, most most of the people in my family are really musical. So. Wow. Yeah. So when you were growing up, um, you're obviously surrounded by a particular type of music. It's the Christian music thing with your dad yeah. doing parachute. Did you at any point feel obligated to get into that as opposed to just um, mainstream pop music? I think when I was really young, like yeah. maybe like 13, mm. that's kind of what I was immersed in and I'd follow my parents around because they played in a band themselves and they'd tour a lot. Mm. And I remember going on this tour in America with them and going to these like Christian music conferences and like watching all the bands there and they'd be like a Christian Eminem or like a Christian <laughs> Britney Spears, you know? But like they'd sing really like wholesome lyrics and yeah. I was just like... I think that's when it hit me. I think I was about 13 and I was like, oh, what? I can't do this. Yeah, like, yeah, this yeah. is just not me. So it was a really good, from the musical side of things, it was really good because we were in such an intense musical bubble. But yeah, yeah true. it's just not really me. <laughs> Some of the other yeah. stuff. What did your dad think about that? Did, he's he all want, good. did he want you to go into that sort of thing or was he just like, nah, nah no? He's pretty relaxed. Yeah, I yeah. think, um, yeah, that's something that he's really passionate about. But. He still helps me heaps with my stuff. Yeah. He, um, he played bass on my first ever EP and oh. gets involved. So. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> that's lovely. Yeah, that's very, yeah. It's very nice. <laughs> um, so let's talk about the, the album that's, that's come out. It's in the stores now. Yes. Volition. Uh, the sound, like, I'm not a music person, obviously. Really? But, but you've got this. I've, this I've got my Yamaha musical. Portatone with me. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, um, it's a very expensive keyboard, as you yeah. can see. Oh, yeah. But I wouldn't say that I'm a musician, unfortunately. Mm. One thing I noticed was the live drums over the synth sort of stuff. Yeah. I mean, to me, that was real cool. I thought it was cool. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm I thought glad it was you cool. Liked it. Yeah, but it's quite raw in a way. Like yeah, the drums yeah. are mixed really loud. Exactly. And it's quite gritty, which I really like because I, like, of course, I'm trying to make pop music, but mm. I didn't really want it to be all bubblegum and like yeah, Polish yeah, yeah. sounding. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. So I had one guy like mix one of the songs in a really bubblegum pop way and it just yeah the drums were way quieter and yeah. it just sounded too, like it didn't yeah, sound yeah. right and then the guy that I got to mix the album he just got it perfect like he just that's awesome eh? yeah it's, I like that it's a bit grittier and so how raw. did you land on the sound that you've got now 
Um, just heaps of experimenting. Yeah. I've, I've worked with quite a few different people to get the sound I want. Because, I, I mean, I know how to record demos in my bedroom, but they don't really yeah. sound <laughs> as good as the album. Yeah. So it's been like a long process of just, yeah, trial and error. And um, yeah. I was really lucky that I got to work with the producer that I got to work with. Who was um, that? Who was Chris Sane um, over in New York. In so New York, he, um, yeah. he was just really... He hasn't really worked with many female artists, which I actually think is a good thing because he's just more used to, like, more aggressive sounding tones oh, okay. and he's got heaps of vintage synths and that's pretty cool yeah really i loved working with him so he's done like the passion pit um albums oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah he's yeah. just a really he's really cool well I'm flash, it, well, let's flash a picture let's flash a picture <laughs> hopefully we can find it i hope so google google that was strange that strange was costume. it strange yeah. no i've toned it back a bit this year have you yeah. okay so, so you decide it, what you wear as well yeah, oh yeah definitely and they're like yeah go for it don't worry <laughs> but about it. no but last year they were like oh i think people think that you're a character and and i got called a i'm not gonna swear effing fairy fucking fairy a fucking fairy oh you can swear in here well, we That's can good. yeah it's, it's <laughs> okay. awesome because we don't Sorry. get paid very much oh yeah brilliant so we can do it love it um so i thought oh, i better tone it back a bit fucking fairy fucking fairy who called you a fucking fairy the corner what's the corner it's this oh, i'm so glad you don't know that makes me feel better no it's this um this music review site um, me and me and Johnny there on Cameron B, we went to your um, your pony club gig. Oh, did you? A couple of weeks ago. Oh, sweet. He actually ended up in showgirls for half the night. Did you? Um, nice he was, one. So did my dad. Yeah, he was yeah. pissed off his face actually. <laughs> awesome. But what I noticed because I was actually awake yeah. and I was conscious <laughs> yeah. was that your, your live show you've only got three people up there. Yeah. And you had Haddon Smith, who we kind of know. Oh, do you know him? Kind of. I mean, he got <laughs> us on Animax video shoot. Did and we were like, thanks, Haddon. And then he never talked to us again. What video? Good on Stereos. I'm in it. And he's in it. Thank God I don't smoke anymore. Leaves me one less thing to hide. What I'm going to attempt to do now is, is have a jam with Ruby Frost. Because it's all part of the show. Uh, chin wag and jam. You talk and you jam. Um, I don't really know if this is going to work. But, um, you know, you got to try these things. And um, that's exactly what I'm going to do.